so um, this is a much needed health update from me I don't really know what to say because I spoke to my neurologist today and uh, I'm not into remission and that is so so disappointing because I will really wanted to uh, so I have to continue to take Diamox for um, a couple of more months and uh, for those of you who are not prescribed the Diamox there is a reason why it is, it is called uh, devil mox by some people because the side effects are quite real and um, it's not a fun medication to take and um, I was really hoping that I was going into remission now because um, last time I went to my um, eye doctors the papillary edema had gone down and it's now light to moderate but uh, my neurologist thinks that it is not enough so uh, therefore he advised me to continue to take Diamox and I'm going to continue to take two tablets per day so a total of uh, I think it's 500 milligrams so it's not a high dose but it's still the side effects are sometimes tremendous and you know you do so much to combat this illness and uh, there is only so much you can do you know i really think about how much i sleep when i sleep what i eat uh, how much i exercise and uh, then you always have to combat this immense fatigue that you can feel and that fatigue can be both from the medication itself but also from the disease and I am just so so tired all the time so we're talking about side effects now maybe I should just uh, talk a little bit of the other symptoms that I have had the last couple of weeks uh, I haven't had that much of headaches and that's really really nice today I have had a really bad headache but it, it that was a very long time ago that I had a bad headache and that I'm happy about that uh, as I mentioned before I have had um, this uh, fatigue there is really not much I can do about that I have been feeling a bit dizzy like I sometimes do and I have feel and I have felt a bit nauseous like I also sometimes do uh, but it hasn't been something that um, has been out of the ordinary but you know what this day has just been really really rough on me uh, not just because of this um, disappointing talk that I had with my doctor I was working today and uh, one of my colleagues uh, had a patient that turned really really bad like like this uh, they were doing some back surgery and um, I don't know what happened but something happened and uh, during the surgery the surgeon surgeons unfortunately hit what I believe was some kind of uh, arteries of the patient just started to bleed and for those of you who are not into OR nursing a major bleeding is uh, not something that you want it's and it's going fast uh, fortunately I wasn't the OR nurse in charge of that um, uh, surgery so I wasn't in that room but I was outside and uh, I had to help 
and um, you know what so many doctors from so many different kind of specialities just came into the room like yeah uh, yeah it was crazy but uh, I think that the patient is going to survive uh, the patient is at this very moment in the intensive care unit and uh, they are probably going to, to perform a uh, emergency thoracic uh, surgery tonight or tomorrow but I think the patient will survive but uh, it was a couple of stressful minutes and then I just came home and this happened just like just after lunch and I ended my shift at two o'clock today I it was okay for me to leave early and I had this appointment with my doctor just after I left so it was just like two bad things happening at once and that weighed my energy a lot so uh, to sum it up I was disappointed that uh, I'm not into remission yet because I really really wanted to uh, on the other hand before the appointment with my doctor I I sort of felt that if he was to, to suggest that I was going to stop take Diamox, uh, I might be in a situation where, you know, what fluid builds up and uh, it's going to increase the, the pressure around my optic nerves. And I was worried that they, that might lead to something more sinister like visual loss. Uh, that is probably just me being worried, but um, it's a real thing to worry about with this disease. So when he felt that I wasn't really into remission, he just said that maybe we should take it a bit slower here and uh, that you should continue with this medication. And I think that was the right call. But anyway, I'm, I think I'm ready to end this vlog now. I don't really feel like talking. I'm just disappointed and tired and down today. And that's just how it is. And uh, thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.